If I'm not on here at a certain time, you all send out a search party and it absolutely warms my heart. Warms my heart. I cannot believe there are so many people that worry about me and thank you. I love you all as well. I just had a lot of emails and Rosenbin Beauty stuff that we're doing in. It's good stuff. It's fun stuff. XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> Who wants to do, I'm going to say purple but wearable and then a lot of you are gonna say I wouldn't consider purple wearable but just let's just try it let's see if we can make purple wearable because purple on brown eyes on these little brown papers is quite special and um, purple doesn't always mean glitter cut crease I try to make it not mean that because it does mean that to me sometimes but let's try our best to kind of incorporate purple into a more wearable look but remember, that's what's so fun about makeup. We all enjoy different things. Um, we we just, we're all on a different makeup journey. So maybe you're on this makeup journey, but it's not gonna be wild like Feral Monday. So <laughs> let's do it. Clean canvas. We are definitely gonna start with clean canvas, shade fair. We want the purples to come through. Rather true, we're not gonna use a white eyeshadow base because those are intimidating, but remember, the lighter the base, the truer the color is gonna show up on your skin because it's canceling out undertone. Um, a lot of my deeper skin friends, they asked me if they could use lighter base, and the answer is absolutely, because remember, all of this is gonna be covered with your eyeshadow. It's not like a complexion product where we need to match it. So if you wanna play around with makeup and you're feeling very spicy that day, um, it's gonna take a, a second to get used to using a lighter base because you're making sure you're covering all of it. But yes, you can use a lighter eyeshadow base. For right now, I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna get just a smidge spicy. And the only reason why is because we're gonna use this. We're gonna talk about it in a second. But for right now, clean canvas. Boy, look at his circle. He's my circle man. His um, granny just left him just to go run errands, and he he can't he can't live life because his granny has left him. So he has come to me, and he says she left me, and she doesn't love me, and I need help. Right? You need help. You needed hugs. You drippy baby. He's so drippy. <laughs> He's so sweet. Oh, he loves his scritches. They can't see you. There you go. You sweet? He's sweet. He's hugging me. And if you're new here and you have recently heard snoring, this is what you've been hearing. He's built different. Gene is built different. Gene was completely feral. I took about three months out of my life to tame him um, before I moved to where I'm at now. And he has adapted to being very much a house cat. And he's wonderful and he's sweet and he's precious and he wears clothes and will go places and rides in the car and does everything that a dog does. He's really sweet. <laughs> I love him. So you are gonna hear purring, he is in my lap and I don't see him going anywhere anytime soon, not until his granny gets back. So we're gonna use one of these. These are from Mob Beauty and they are totally slept on. They're a wonderful brand. So I picked up quite a bit of that. There it is on the C31 and this is what's gonna go on our lid. So pretty, but this is still our base. We're still gonna put eyeshadow on top of this. And I love these because they're refillable. We love that. Formula's fantastic. There we go. And I wanna let y'all know that any of the links that I'm sharing, unless I state it's an affiliate link, those are not affiliate links. Um, I'm not making any money off of those links. That's just me going to the website, getting it, just to make it easier for you to tap it and check it out. Um, but if it is an affiliate link, an affiliate link means that I'd be making money off of it. If it is that, I would state this is an affiliate link and I'm making money off of it. Y'all know how open we are here. Just wanted to let y'all know. Moving on. So, 
I was going to use this palette, but it is sold out and I don't like using palettes that are sold out because where's the fun in that? So we're going to have to wait for that to come back into stock. I, I, I'm never the one that's like, oh, we need to buy things immediately. Y'all have noticed that for many years now. Um, if there is something I'm excited about, take note, because most of the content that I do is more about just helping you and even helping you use what you have. But it's not fun to use a palette. And if you're in the market for a palette and you're like, man, I really want a new palette. And then I use the palette and it's not even in stock. I'd be daggum frustrated. So let me find a different one, but still purples. Listen, everything that I have that is purple has, <laughs> has, has went into retirement. So I'm going to have to palette hop, but listen, these shadows are sold individually. So this isn't too wild. Again, mob beauty, so wonderful. I'm going to grab this warm brown. And the reason why is because warm brown, it's just usually flattering on most skin tones. And it's very easy to work with because the pigments are easy to work with. You know, no one's ever, I'm, I'm about to bore you for a second, but no one talks about why we gravitate towards certain colors. Let's talk about that really quickly. So when most of us think about warm browns, like the color I'm applying right now, we think of it because it looks flattering. It does, and it really and truly looks so flattering on just about all skin tones. But another reason that we tend to gravitate towards them is because of the way that pigment is made. It's actually a lot easier to blend. And with these buffing motions and the swiping back and forth and the circles, they tend to not patch up because they're a very strong pigment. I know this might be a little bit intense, but the more I say it, the more you'll start to see it and the more you'll understand it. So that is one, not, of course, they, they tend to flatter everyone, but another reason we really gravitate towards these warmer tones is because they're a very strong pigment. We can get a little aggressive with them if we need to, and they don't patch up like a cooler tone or a purple. So I, want, I wanted to share that with y'all. I, I feel like that's helpful. It might make you look at your eyeshadow differently and you learn something. So let's continue this. I hope that I never bore y'all because these things are important. And if you can't shut one eye at a time, just kind of tilt your head back and then push it in there. It's a little bit easier. But I'm a creepy baby doll. <laughs> just push it there. And remember, this creasing, completely natural. I, I don't even know how long I was over there searching. If something isn't set, just like concealer under here, it's going to move, but that's not a big deal. So I'm grabbing it on the tip of the brush, flipping it towards the ceiling and pushing it in here. And another reason that these warm browns are going to be really pretty with the purple is because both purple and this kind of warm brown have quite a bit of red in them. Makeup is so much fun. It's so much fun once you understand even what's in this. <laughs> and really quickly, I do want to explain the E28. Um, I wanted something that was very flat, but you could still blend with. And I really wanted something that you'll see that it even has a side here. Do you see this? When you have a side of the brush, you can actually do more with it. Like placement. Placement is so important. But then we also want to be able to blend with it. So I'm just going to wipe it on Sheila really quickly. Just one, two, three. And then we like to use the side of it to do our tapping motions to transition. And it's actually really quick. So I did just want to tell you all about the E28. Special little brush. I love these brushes. Are you ready to get absolutely positively feral? But not really, because this is going to be quite wearable once we're done. But if you want to add a little bit of kind of cons consistency throughout the eyeshadow look, let's grab, watch this, that's all we're gonna grab. You can barely see it on the brush. We're gonna take that and we're gonna press that on top of our warm brown. It's gonna be so subtle, but it is, I'm going in for one more tap. It's going to kind of tie everything together. Isn't that pretty? It's so fun and so simple. Now you could have left it without, but I wanna give you options.
fun. Okay, so we are getting to the part where we're gonna start adding to start lid color. Let's fix up our creasing. Again, completely normal. Um, some products, they, they have to be set and a cream clay shadow would need to be set. I'm just adding a little bit more. I did pick up, I, I, this is what I did, one, two, and that's gonna be enough. And now we're immediately about to grab our lid color, which is gonna be from that palette we just used. Fine. We could just set this with a similar color, but I think we should get spicy. I think we should use this color because it's speaking to me. Actually, it's screaming at me. Use me. <laughs> so I grabbed quite a bit of that. Isn't that pretty with that jean bean hair that's going on my eye? And let's just apply it through here. This palette is stunning. This is actually one of my favorite colorful palettes. So affordable. Um, it's just fun. It's just a fun palette to have in your collection. And with that series that I'm doing, if you don't have those colors, this would be a really nice, more affordable investment because we just did that with that purple. Make sure you're really pressing this into that cream. You do want to make sure that you're setting it. See that little thing there? It's okay. There you go. Gone. Just don't panic. Nice. It almost glows. It's so pretty. Now we're going to grab this color. And that is going to go in the center. Same amount once again for this eye. Then we're going to wipe the brush off on Sheila. Sheila's my makeup towel, not another cat. We don't wipe makeup brushes on cats. Although I have seen Jean get up here and try to love on the brush and I go, no sir, this is Sheila. Yes, Sheila is clean. Sheila has just seen quite a few Halloweens, like seven or eight of them now. So brush is wiped off and I'm just gonna take this and start to tap here. Here, and then I'm gonna take the tip of the brush and I'm just gonna soften these edges into the neutral brown. When I say neutral, it's, it's a red brown. I'm sorry that might confuse you. I should just say into the socket, that's easier. Try to be very careful with my words. I know how confusing this can all be because I was once very confused. That's fun. Let's blend this a little bit more. Just using the side of the brush and tapping. You don't want to get wild, but also not that wild. You're going to learn something. I'm excited to teach it to you. So I want to do brown liner, but most brown liners are very neutral. That means they're kind of right in the middle between cool and between warm. So I want it to be more warm because like I said, most liners, they just don't have that warmth. So what I'm going to do is I'm not really going to worry too much. I know that y'all are going to be like, Rose, the swoop, it's perfect. I know, but that's me not worrying too much. Let me just fill it in. And I actually used to love this liner. This one's from ColourPop, it's in the shade Grande. Okay, that's good. Don't even worry about these patches. Don't worry about it. This is fun. Y'all are gonna like this. So we're gonna grab two taps of the red. And what this is gonna do it's gonna warm it up. But we need to take our time and tap it right on top. We can even smudge the edges a little. It's gonna let y'all see the process. I'm gonna grab some more and we're just gonna keep doing this till we get the warmth that we're after. Can add a little bit of orange too, but I think that we're good with, yep. Can start to see it warm up. There he goes, snoring. It's his favorite pastime. Makeup is so much fun. So I probably should just buy stock in Roquel Beauty lashes. 
<laughs> I love them so much. I think they're so beautiful. Um, I purchased them myself and I'm sent endless amounts of lashes, but I still purchase these and I just think they're just wonderful. Everything about them, plus they last I, 20, 25 times. They're wonderful and I love them. Hey, wait, y'all usually sell things out. I should, let me go back and delete that link. <laughs> so I have actually been using this foundation for quite some time. I've been using it when I shoot content for Rose and Ben Beauty. Shh, content coming soon. And it, <laughs> I tried this, when did I try this? A couple of years ago, probably in 2021. And the only complaint I had about it was that it didn't have a pump. I have the old one here somewhere. See, it was just, it was chaos. Now it has a pump and I love it. I mean, it just kind of speaks for itself. Let's just let it speak for it. the match. So good. <laughs> I love it. And it's just so affordable. I'm gonna let this slide run out and then I'm gonna to explain to you what I'm doing. So what you're seeing me do is I'd like to start here on my jawline. I'll just thin it out and then I work in sections. And the reason you see me apply it with my fingers first is because we don't wanna dip in here. That's gonna be very uneven on the brush. And the more even makeup is on your face, the longer it's gonna wear and the better it's gonna wear. So we like to go in sections like this and then I work up to that and I actually wind up using less foundation because I'm able to see where I'm going and what I'm doing now another reason is because foundation most foundation formulas they dry down it's what they do and it's what we want them to do but when we work here and then come back over here and then come here and then come back over here that's giving that foundation time to dry and once it dries it is a lot harder to go over it that's that is what can cause patchiness and lifting and patchiness is, and lifting is see how smooth this is and it needs worked in more but if it starts to lift you're going to see my skin through it you don't want that so then i'm going to do my nose and you just want to make sure it's nice and thin if we need to build up it's better to build in that section than to try to go back to this cheek again and build up. I'm okay with the coverage we have right now. Um, I'm also gonna go thinner in the areas that I'm gonna apply concealer. Now I'm not gonna apply concealer here and I'm not gonna apply concealer here. And the reason we can do that in those sections is because our forehead is going to be usually smaller than the rest of our face. So we're able to get there and there very quickly, blend it in. Also this brush is basically a magic wand, stay tuned. So excited for y'all to try it. <laughs> so that looks really nice. Okay, on to concealer. Notice that no concealer. So we're gonna use this again from Milani, the Conceal and Perfect Contour. Um, Milani was kind enough to DM me and they told me that it does lock once you close it. It still gets messy. And again, it's, that's not a major ordeal, but it does get messy, but they do say that it does close, so it's not going to leak. So we're gonna get some out. And I'm gonna do this before concealer because I wanna get a little heavy handed. And if I need to reshape anything, that concealer's gonna bring me back from the brink. <laughs> you know, this, this much might not be for everyone, but we're just having fun. Some days it's just sitting here having fun. You learn a lot when you do this. Go. Perfect. We need a C40. So I just bronze my nose ever so lightly. That way it kind of matches the rest of my face. And this is more than I would normally use, but I mentioned that before because we're going to come back in with our concealer. It's going to look wild. Remember, there's no concealer. I need to go shut my door. I'm pretty sure Ben is giving out all of our bank information back in there. I don't know what's going on, but it's. <laughs> Let me stop this for just a second. So let's start to tap this in. It does blend so beautifully. It's going to look wild. I, again, I wanted to be extra bronzy today. And we'll just use our concealer to get our shape back. 
This is a really good way to get a lot of bronze. See how that just blended out so nicely? It's really nice for the price. You know, I still feel like I sometimes need to explain myself, but I have to remember that I, I'm not gonna make a cut and then all of a sudden it be done and then you go, what the heck just happened? I'm gonna show you. So you don't worry and, and then I won't worry and then we won't worry together and we'll just have fun in makeup. You can always just trust the process and you can also trust I'm going to explain it. I'm gonna explain what's going on. Really enjoying this Ofra concealer. It's really nice. It's a really nice color for me. We look so bronzy. And I'm gonna go film something really quickly after I blend my concealer. It's a helpful video, so I'm gonna post tonight. I'm just here to help. This is the year of, we are not going to be afraid of makeup and we are going to have fun with it. I don't know why I did that so perfect. It makes no difference. Sometimes you just start drawing on your face, but I am gonna hop off and film that, but we're gonna watch this blend. Don't you worry, don't you even worry. I really like this concealer. C31, we're gonna start our blend. If you've ever wondered why I did a very small concealer brush as opposed to one that's a lot floofier or a larger shape, I feel that in makeup, I want things to be in certain areas. And a smaller brush, it just allows more precision. Now, you can see that it doesn't take that long to blend it. We are gonna buff this back together with the C40 a little bit. You're gonna see that too. But I just always feel that I wanna work in smaller areas, like around my brows. I didn't want this to go too far over. It's just about pinpointing, and that's why I really and truly just prefer smaller brushes. I don't want things to run about my face, and Lord knows they want to. <laughs> now we'll take our C40, and we're just gonna melt the two together. You make sure you're using pressing motions. This is really important. No matter your technique, this you would want to use some pressing motions because we do have our makeup on and we don't want to disturb it. You can see that these fi the fibers, they're, they're, they're nice and spicy fibers. They're extremely soft. So when you use these pressing motions, they absolutely will not lift your makeup. But no matter your brush, as long as you're, I, I, I mean, I try every way to not just be like, this is the best brushes in the whole world. And they're very special to me. But <laughs> I, I want y'all to know that not all fibers are the same, but I want you to be able to use what you already have if you are enjoying it. And your best bet is just going to be these pressing motions. Okay, I forgot to put my oil on underneath my eyes and because of my retinol that I'm using right now, my under eyes are a little bit drier. Y'all are about to see something wild. And I want y'all to know that this can be done. I want you to know that there's really no step in your makeup that can't be salvaged. You wanna know why? Because I've been there. So I'm gonna take a little dot of my concealer. This is the one I just used. And I'm going to take my LMS Superfood Oil. It's my ride or die. And I'm just gonna try to do half a drop. Tiny, tiny amount. Now I'm gonna mix it together just with my finger really quickly. And this is just gonna go on top of what we have. We, this, is, this is another reason why I really like my small brushes because I don't want this to gravitate down here, I'm okay. But it's really just around here that I'm dry. My under eye already looks so much more <laughs> hydrated. And you can see that it's not separating the concealer. Nothing is gonna happen. It's all gonna be fantastic. And I will say I do prefer this oil because I know how it performs with makeup and how it mixes with makeup and how it wears with makeup. And I have used quite a few oils. Um, this is not an ad. This is just me telling you that I trust this oil. I know what it does with makeup and I know that I can even mix it into the makeup and then put it back on top of makeup. And it just, it works perfectly with makeup. 
So that's a really good tip. I still need to blend this more, but let me hop off and film my very quick video. It's a very helpful video. I will be right back. And yes, I will. I still need to blend. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I used this powder from Makeup Revolution. I picked this up, I don't know, a month ago? I haven't even used it yet. Or maybe I have. I don't remember, but I'm pretty impressed. Don't look at this side because this is the demo side that I was teaching on. And then this is the side that we did it correctly. You'll see it tonight. I'm going to post it tonight. But look at how nice this looks. Doesn't that look pretty? Really smooth? Nice. Nice. And so affordable. We're going to get wild. We're going to grab an E27 and we're going to grab the cream clay shadow from Mob Beauty. From Mob that we used a second ago. Just going to throw that under here. Picked up some more just to go across. And the reason this is going to be wild is because it's a really fun demo to show you how all of the brushes can go from cream back to powder. It's wild. But that's what I needed. Because I'm always doing wild things. I needed brushes that could keep up. Now we're just going to wipe it on a makeup towel. This isn't microfiber. It's not. It's just a towel. I did a couple swipes back and forth. Now we're going to grab... I, I'm going to get a little wild. I am. I'm gonna grab this shade here and we're just gonna press that on top and that purple is gonna act like a base and I'm just gonna keep it really close to the lash line. This cat. He snores like an English Mastiff. Look how pretty that looks. And then I want you to see that there's no residue from the cream on here. Wild, right? Let's grab this color for our inner corner highlight. This is the same E27 that we just used. So pretty. I don't know if I've used this yet, but I want to use it today. I, I really can't remember. It's all a makeup blur. This one's from Tarte, and this is going to be very similar to the Dior, the one that was everywhere for a while. I think I already like the Too Faced one more because it's just so much more blurring. I purchased this myself, but I did want pink with the purple. This is the one that reacts to your pH. It's pretty. It's nice, but I, I, I you know, I'm just going to say I still prefer the Too Faced. The Too Faced, every time I put it on, it just excites me and it warms my makeup part. This is still beautiful and if you already have it, beautiful. I'm, it's looking gorgeous and I'm sure it's gonna wear beautifully too. Um, but it's, I, I just prefer the Too Faced one. We'll see where it ends up. It's still looking pretty pink on me, so we shall see. I do like that. I think that's fun because it does kind of adjust. Um, we shall see. It's going back in my blush drawer. We're gonna try it out a couple more times. So I can't find the lipstick I'm looking for. So let's see if he's transforming. <laughs> I hope y'all heard that. I love that kitty. You know, we were all trying to find a dupe for the Dior. Now this is gonna be a little bit more amber, but this, I'm trying to find that. It looks pretty close. Let's see, let's just see. I don't know if y'all remember, but this went viral and to me, it just wasn't sparkly enough. And I do like that formula, but I like it more just to say it's, oh, that is nice. Now I'm distracted. It's just a nice formula. I don't, I don't want it and y'all to think that this is the most glittery, fantastical thing in the whole wide world. Let me do one more. And then we'll put the doer on the top lip. Wow. I got too excited. I didn't finish this side. This is still the Dior. The Dior is on the top lip. No, look at this. I think we found a dupe. Because this is plumping too. This is a plumping formula. I didn't just want to show y'all a lip gloss that didn't do the same thing. And my goodness, they feel exactly the same. The same, they feel exactly the same. And they look exactly the same. Okay, I'm gonna get y'all a link for this. 
And I, if y'all are were wanting this, this is a dupe and it's so much more affordable. I got so excited I hopped off and filmed that. So let's quickly throw on a lip until I can find the one that I'm looking for. I love this one. I'm gonna wear this one. This is Revlon Bare Affair. I love this color. Ooh, and I like it with the blush and the eyes and the transition. She's spicy today. Oh my gosh. And then let's use Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in the shade Mocha. Mm, that's perfect. Now, I actually just cooled this down with blue, so it didn't film it. I'm a little sad, but we'll just do it tomorrow or we'll do a video on it. Just color theory, I used the blue, and I used these instead of the other mixing pigments because I know that these are gonna be lip safe because these are lipsticks and this is from Mario. So, I did cool it down a little bit and I just used the blue. But let's use some of the white because if you wanna lighten it, we're gonna use this and look how little I'm using. Okay, you just lighten the center. I need a lip brush, hang on. Let me go get a C30. It done, are you in an OFT? Everything I have is dirty at the moment. Hang on. Let's just grab a C30. And now we can mix it even more and clean up the edges. There we go. Now if you'll tap back, you'll see that the lipstick is a little bit cooler and lighter in the center than when I first applied it. And this is just for fun. I know that this is a lot and then you might be thinking I would never do this, but all I'm doing is for me, I do have the products. We might as well just learn about them and what they do. And if lipsticks, they tend to, pull a certain color on you, a lip palette like that might not be a bad investment. And especially if you're a working artist. All right, friends, that is it for today. I would definitely consider this wearable. Um, I feel like sometimes we run away from colors like this, but they actually just bring out the eyes. Look at me trying to show you my eyes. Look at my eyes. But no, you can see that they lighten them. They kind of shifted the color and it's really, really fun. To be honest, if this is still too much, I'm gonna do some looks, maybe I'll do one tomorrow, just where we really emphasize the bottom lash line and then we do the top um, a, a brown, a more comfort zone brown. That's what we'll call it, because even I, I used to have the comfort zone brown. It's what I knew, it's what I knew would turn out right. And it's a great place to be. But if you really enjoy makeup and you really enjoy the process, I wanna get you out of that. We're gonna have fun, it's makeup, it washes off. I am going to go finish editing. I did film some, some videos in between here I'm excited about. I love you all so much and I'm gonna post the concealer giving issues. I'm gonna post that this evening. I'm doing a couple different versions because there's so many things that concealer can do. It wants to betray you, but I'm here to help you harness the power of concealer. <laughs> I love y'all so much, and I will see you in the comments tonight.